you something else that's quite weird, ladies and gentlemen. Do we remember when Donald Trump took that weird day trip to the hospital? And we didn't know what it was. We didn't know what happened. It was strange. And now we're hearing of reports that Mike Pence was asked to be on call. And when a vice president is asked to be on call and be prepared, usually it's because the president is going to be under the knife, right? That's what you would think. So Fox News' Brett Baer uh, asked Mike Pence yesterday what exactly Donald Trump meant by that whole situation and what that uh, the hospital, all that whole thing. So I want I want to play this for you guys. Go ahead, have a listen to this. Uh, President Donald Trump is in excellent health, and uh, Brett, I'm always informed of the president's movements, and uh, uh, whether it was on that day or any other day, uh, I'm, I'm informed. But there was no, there was nothing out of the ordinary of, about that moment or or that day, and I, I just refer any other questions to the White House physician. But as far as being on standby. I, I don't. I don't recall being told to be on standby. I, I was informed that the president had a doctor's appointment, and uh, uh, I'm, I don't want to. But I must tell you, I, it, but I just want to. Yeah, I got. I got to tell you, and part of this job is you're always on standby. Is your vice president of the United States, uh, but uh, the American people can be confident that uh, uh, this president is in remarkable good health and. Uh, 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 every single day I see that energy in high relief. Okay, so let me respond to that real quickly, if I may. Uh, keep in mind, Mike Pence is the guy that, you know, preaches religion all the time, and, you know, he's one of those guys, right? I think it says something in the Bible about lying. I'm pretty sure it says something, whoever your God is, whoever you pray to, you probably shouldn't lie, certainly not to your wife, not to your friends, maybe not to millions and millions of people across the country. Now, it's important I bring this up because— if somebody went up to Mike Pence and said, you need, to, you, need, you need to be ready to go, you need to be ready, if somebody said that to Mike Pence, you'd probably remember a year ago, because that's kind of important. Did you see the way Mike Pence answered that question? I don't recall. Yeah, exactly. I don't recall. That'd be like me asking somebody, like if I asked Mike Pence, for example, Mr. Pence, have you ever been gay in your life? I don't recall. Right, right. What if he answered the question, I don't recall. That's something that either you remember or you don't. And guess what? If nobody went up to Mike Pence and nobody asked him to be on call, to be ready to go, his response would have said no, no. It was a regular health visit by the president. Nobody went up to me and told me to be ready to go. You're to splitting hairs, Brian. I'm split. Exactly. You are, you yeah. are splitting. Hairs. I'm splitting hairs. Okay. I don't You're recall. Saying, since don't he recall. said, I don't recall, that means that he was absolutely ass that he's lying to the American public. And since he's such a religious man that makes him a terrible human being. Uh, he, well, he just said he may, maybe he doesn't remember. Uh, I think you're a you're an awful human being if you judge people based on their sexuality. And Mike Pence and his wife have been doing that for most of their lives. Keep in mind, it was Mike. It's not just this, okay, JD. You, you're looking at it as just this, okay? His wife works at a school. You don't it doesn't allow. Did home, you know that, that? If I could just finish my statement, yeah, we, we, know, wife, we know all about his, his, wife, his wife okay, working well, at the school, well, I'm glad which, you which know, is a, a private listen, school. I know Ryan. all about your conspiracy theories, which is, totally, but I don't, which is totally legal. I know about your defenses and your mechanisms and your you know all of your conspiracy theories, but I. I don't always interrupt you just because I know what you're going to say. Okay, so I'm telling the listeners, Mike Pence's wife works at a school that does not allow you to be a homosexual to go to school there or to work there. I think you're a horrible human being if you work in a school like that. I do. I think the Pences are absolutely two-faced. And by the way, a year ago, if the president was under the knife and somebody went up to Mike Pence as the vice president in his career in the White House and said, Mr. Vice President, when you're going to need you ready to go, you're going to have to be ready to take over. I'm pretty sure he would remember something like that. And a normal response, if you're not lying or you don't have Alzheimer's, which I don't think Mike Pence has, he seems to have a pretty good memory, a normal response would not be, well, I don't recall that is a weird response. The White House has kept this visit under the rug. They haven't told us why he went there. It was a weird visit, and there are a lot of speculation. And by the way, in the book that was written about this visit, nobody talked about mini strokes. But the president is the one that brought that up, not the book. Nobody brought that up in the and, book. And why did he bring it up, Brian? What did he say after that? There were rumors. He, no, he said that another candidate, you may be talking about a candidate from another party when he's talking about Joe Biden. Okay. I th so it, what does that mean? That means that Donald Trump might know that Joe Biden actually had a stroke. Oh, is that what you think? 
Is, is that yeah, your theory that, now? That, it's, it, what I mean is, is that my <laughs> theory? Brian, Joe Biden read the top of a teleprompter yesterday talking about Venezuela. If Joe Biden, oh, if, if, if someone on the teleprompter said You're Joe— just getting worse if, and worse, if, man. If, if it said, I, Joe Biden, am, am a Republican and I love Donald Trump, he would read it at this so, point. So, so this is all about Joe Biden. Okay, I got you. Thank you for spinning that. That was awesome. All right.